This next dish out of this book is with crab and shrimp. Now, well, I am not a big fan of crab and I always have the fake crab sticks in my freezer. So I just took some of those out because you buy them like more things and I never use them the whole package. So I just keep it in my freezer. But the next dish is, can you see? Irish seafood cocktail. But I don't think um, the shrimp are from Ireland or the crab is from Ireland. So the only the recipe I guess is from even, well, if this book is real Irish. Because everything is done with cups in this book, which I believe is an American thing, right? But anyway, let's do dish number two. Step one. <laughs> to make the cocktail sauce, combine all the ingredients in a pitching mixing bowl. And the ingredients are mayo, mayonnaise, ketchup, cognac and Tabasco sauce. So mayo and ketchup. Then it said one fourth of a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. Well, I'm not sure if this one fourth. And it said one and a half teaspoon cognac. And this, let's combine it here. And then Let's come on. Mixed well, mixy, mixy, mixy. And the thing is, guys, I'm Dutch. And please let me know in the comments what you think of Dutch food. Dutch cuisine. So, if any of these dishes, recipes fail, first of all, it's my fault. Second of all, I think it's maybe not the right ingredients. Like, well, Dutch butter is maybe different than the Irish butter. Um, and the third is just. I'm used to Dutch food, so using different recipes. Yeah. Well, we'll see how things go. Remove. Divide the lettuce among four cocktail glasses or ceramic bowls. Well, I don't have fancy glasses, but I have to have these Irish coffee glasses. What do I do? Yeah. These now. I think this is easiest. So, let us and let's. In the bottom, bottom, bottom. Do I. About my pronunciation, guys. If you grew, grew up in the Netherlands, you hear a lot of American TV, I think. American sitcoms, even our kid shows, a lot of them are in American English, I think. So, if I sound more American than English, English well, that's why. And, well, I hate to say it, but the Dutch accent when we speak English, it's horrible. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm I'm doing my best, and this is just all to celebrate that culture, maybe. And if I use the wrong words, I'm sorry. I'm trying, but the letters. I did the letters. 
Step 3. Remove alternate strips of peel from the cucumber and quarter the flesh lengthwise. Let's remove alternate strips of peel. I have no idea what they mean by that, but I'll just do what the picture <laughs> tells me to do. That's easiest, I think. So just, just make some strips. Let me see whether, I guess they just don't want the mushy bit of the cucumber. Let's put this, so I've got, ooh, I'm sorry. I don't like, even like the mushy bit. No. What do you do with this, guys? If you are like me and you do, I, I hate to say it, but I always throw this away. Because I don't like the mushy bit, but if you have a solution for me, what I can do with it, please, please, please tell me. Because I do hate food waste, not only food waste, when I do the groceries, I always do my groceries Monday, 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 Monday morning, and then I clean everything and portion everything out, and then I am left with so much plastic waste, it's just, it's horrible. Anyway, I've got cucumber strips so I think we're on still step three cut three of the pieces into small dice and sprinkle on top of the lettuce three of the pieces I think I have way too many pieces oh yeah I did two I make two portions instead of four this recipe is for four and I so let's pick the nicest for a nice one side and the rest and the small dice so let's I think I've way too much cucumber but that that's not something bad I can eat them eat those pieces I left over Another time. Here's my. What do they mean with small? Is it small too small? Small enough? Still too big? I think it's a little bit too much, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, like I said, home cooking, sprinkle on top of the lettuce, just. Maybe I should make one more, because just like the salmon, I need to taste it, right? So. Make a quick one for myself for now and the rest the rest I will save for dinner for later. So that's three portions. What's next? Slice the remaining pieces lengthwise into four sticks and set aside. Well, I've got some aside. Step four, layer the crab meat and shrimp on top of the cube. Now I have shrimp and where's my crab? That's my crab. Like I said, I use the fake crab. And I make made it already in these kind of strips. So I think I'm going to Put some shrimp aside for decoration and the rest I'm going to cut up. 
I think that's a little bit smaller. I'm already going off book by cu cutting this. So the, the one I'm making for testing will have a small portion, I think, of both just for tasting so you can see my reaction I like to show the first reaction if you already taste it once you can well if you're good enough you can fake it fake it till you make it right um, <laughs> nothing to do with this anyway um, layer the crab meat and shrimp on top of the cucumber so a little bit of it I have Taken out way too much crap, so maybe. Oh well, well, maybe I could use some more. Like I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of crap, and well, this fake stuff. It's a nice solution, but. Who knows, in a, res in a different kind of recipe, sometimes you need it in a recipe, right? Because if you leave it out, it changes the way something tastes. I think it's like um, people who don't like anchovies and then, but do like a Caesar salad because I think they use anchovies in a dressing. But who knows, I just put it in a recipe. It says, and even in sushi, I don't mind this kind of crab. Or I don't, or normal crab either, but I had this and well, I think it's good enough for now. But please, please don't come at me if I, if it's not right. Anyway, next step was five, four, Season with crumble sea salt flakes. Well, I only have this, which good enough, I think. That that's it. Home cooking. If you think it's enough, it's enough, right? Remove the shell from eight of the prawns. Arrange the shell prawns on top of the crab meat and shrimp. Oh, what's the difference between? Prawns and shrimps. Well, I only use this one. No, well, not this one shrimp, but these these shrimps or prawns. I don't know. Home cooking <laughs> language. But where where do the does the sauce come in? Oh, season with a little more salt than for the sauce. Of the, okay. But it's a lot. I think I make way too many sauce. But so well, the thing I made three right now. So but my first thought with this is let's mix everything together. But maybe the eye wants this. And maybe my mind wants to mix it just for the easy. If you try something, that's a lot of sauce. But I guess no wasted, right? Let's move. Season with a little more salt and pour sauce on top. Garnish with the unshelled prawns. Let's put these. Well, I don't do that for the tasting one, because it's just what the eye wants. What's this? Maybe that. Garnish with all sorts of pros. Cucumber. This isn't too big. Let's 
sprinkle or oh, lemon slices I had this huge slices of used lemon so I sliced two slices but I think I'm just going to do this and I'm I don't know I'm not a big fan of lemon in food maybe in my water sometimes but do I what do I do just like this I think that's good and then use the rest in my water or in a coke or something I just realized I left the TV on so I hope that's not a problem for YouTube or for anything else for my for you guys the lemon and sprinkle with some paprika which I have a little container which is done so I guess this is this is the recipe and well this is what it looks like in my Irish coffee class so fine dining with the two of us tonight I will take some pictures on front of my Instagram if you want to see like the final final result this is going these are going to in the fridge and let's do a taste test of the one I made so for the show a little bit of lemon which causes to you to wash your hands again well it's a good thing to wash your hands, but right now, okay, <laughs> I told you oh, this is what I wanted to do the whole time, a bit with everything, okay, cheers. Mm. My first thought was, yeah, way too much sauce, but then in the end, the, the seafood comes through, and a little bit of alcohol, I think, even though it's just such a tiny bit, but yeah. I don't know why this is wider I do know because in the recipe it said I'm gonna read it based on the traditional shrimp cocktail this dish makes the most of Ireland's beautiful seafood crab shrimp and large meaty prawns are used in this recipe so right now there's nothing Irish in this right but it's a fun book and um, I just made it Mm. But I do love the taste. Mm. I'm just gonna finish this, guys. Mm. And the Tabasco really comes through, but in an in a good way, I'm sorry, eating with my mouth full. It was this good. <laughs> good enough. Now, it was really good. That's uh, a recipe I really love to make again. I'm going to clean up a little bit for now and then off to recipe three.